Hey guys, Abby here. How are you guys doing today? Um, today we are touching on a subject that we haven't, we've talked about before, but haven't really touched on this aspect of it. Um, and that is cuckold regret. Um, this was another great question that was sent to me, you know, and that is what happens when a couple tries out cuckolding lifestyle and then regrets the decision to do so. Um, you know, I love that you guys are all hitting me with the tough stuff and the good, like, well, not that questions before weren't good, but these are a little more in depth. So I enjoy that. Um, so of course I did a little research like I normally do, and I wanted to share with you what I found on it, on situations like this. Um, Because, as I'm sure, just as much as cuckolding is loved by some, it is regretted by others. So, um, we will kind of get into it here. Um, so, you've made the decision as a couple to try out the cuckolding lifestyle. You've shared your hot wife, and either during or afterwards, you got hit hard with these intense emotions of regret, pain, confusion and anxiety as some people do um, however along with this you are also, you are also feeling powerful arousal about the situation and you're just experiencing a roller coaster of emotions that you really don't see many people talking about um, so what do you do you know if you're asking yourself if this is a mistake or if other people face these same emotions um, and you're looking for some answers and do we continue this? Um, do we stop engaging in the lifestyle? Will I be able to endure these emotions for the long term? Um, you know, those are all very valid concerns. So first let's find out what causes said regret and angst. Um, for you cuckolds and why does this huge amount of pain equal the most intense arousal for you? Um, you know some things you may be thinking to yourself and You and may have you feeling discomfort Are you're being you're feeling out of control? You know, you're unaware of what's happening. You're being left out um, That can be a concern for you and a feeling you're having um you know, you're feeling that it's a mistake. Um, you may have felt this beforehand and are really feeling it now that you're sharing your wife. Um, you may be asking yourself, was it better kept a fantasy? And for some, the fantasy is much hotter than the reality of it. Um, and that's okay too. You may be asking yourself, did we rush into it? Um, going from nothing to all in, it can be quite intimidating. So totally common, common feelings to have here. Um, you know, solo dating, this is risky, especially if you haven't even had a threesome or played together before, you know, jealousy can happen in an instant. Um, Something else you may be concerned with is like overnight stays. This may be a part of your fantasy, but this can cause some high level emotions. And for lots of people, this is a no go. Um, you know, you have no idea what's going on and your imagination is just running wild and getting the best of you. Um, I know I would be one of those people. I'm not going to lie. Um, I am so an overthinker. Um, is she falling for him? Some Another question you may be wondering um, or feeling, you know, the devil's tango is powerful and it's easy to keep it just the tango. But if you bend the rules and let emotions form, then this can create a lot of non-kink pain. Um, so, you know, that may be a concern of yours as well. And wondering if why you're regretting this decision um, 
something else you may be feeling and wondering is as you fantasize about being the bull. Um, your emotions get mixed up and when you see your wife with another man, you realize you want to be him, um, not the one off in the corner of the room. And that's okay and that's something you need to discuss and talk about that dynamic and experimenting with that too. Um, change in the relationship. You're worried that this will change the way your relationship works with your partner or if it even will fall apart. Very valid concerns and worries um, and can be regret if you've already engaged in it. Um, that one I can totally relate to. Um, I was very worried in the beginning that it was going to just tear down our relationship and ruin it. Um, but much to the contrary, am I surprised? It just made things all the better. Um, you may be concerned about judgment from others. You know, a lot of newbies have this concern and people can be judgmental and ignorant of your lifestyle choice. So therefore, keeping it to yourselves and what goes on behind closed doors is nobody's business but your own anyway you know, you can eliminate that concern. Um, you may be concerned or thinking about, you know, you're going to be judged and humiliated, you know, judging yourself for allowing this to happen. Um, and you may be feeling like you can't satisfy her the way that he can. Um, all things to consider. You know, some ways to overcome and avoid these emotions. Um, Start slow. No one says you have to be all in on your first time. Flirt on apps and websites together. Watch her flirt in real life. Go to a club. Um, maybe a soft swap with another couple or a guy to start. Um, explore the fantasy, you know, watch some porn videos or read erotica or join some sort of chat forum that you can talk to others who are already in the lifestyle and you can talk with each other about the things you'd like and don't like and you know bounce ideas off of each other and be sure you're both on the same page you know don't believe that all cuckold relationships um are what they say they are. Some couples give off the vibe of no respect in the relationship. The wife does what she wants and the cuck is worthless. And that won't work for everyone. Lots of couples that put that out that vibe, um, it's just an act. It's part of the fantasy and behind the scenes there's a lot of love and respect for each other. So don't always believe what you see and take it for face value. Um, don't think chastity and humiliation in their relationships is an everyday thing, because it may not be. Um, for most, it's turned on and off, just like a light switch, as you please. Um, you know, create some rules. As a couple, create your rules. They can be changed over time as you learn what you like and dislike. Um, keeping in mind to have a list of true do's and don'ts and a fake list of do's and don'ts. And what I mean by this is the fake list is things you don't want them to do, but really do want them to do in the heat of the moment as a part of your overall fantasy. Um, but make sure you're very clear about your hard no's. Another way to avoid or overcome these emotions is to understand what you're getting yourself into. Um, you know, your wife will most likely explode harder than she ever has with you, um, especially if you're watching or joining in. Um, this new experience creates so much intensity that it's almost impossible to not have a powerful explosion. Um, physically and mentally. 
uh, you know, another thing you need to understand what you're getting yourself into is your wife will find someone hot. She may sometimes find someone that is hotter than you. Um, you know, you will most likely see a bull who is better than you in every way with your wife, exploring and pleasing her, something you need to be prepared for. Um, you know, seeing your wife treat another man in a way that she doesn't treat you, but you wish she would. You know, you need to be prepared for that. Talk about it. Um, you know, you need to prepare yourself for seeing your wife with another man. Um, you will probably see her behave like an easy woman. Um, you know, you will become a cuckold watching from across the room and getting off in the humiliation of it all. That's to be expected. That's like the definition of it all. Um, your relationship will change. Um, but if you follow the steps and you both still want to engage in it, it will be for the better. Um, I know that sounds totally crazy and totally insane. I never thought that would be a thing, but my gosh, I can attest to you just find a love and trust and fulfillment level that you never thought possible. Um, it just strengthens and deepens much to what you may believe. Um, and you need to also understand ahead of time too that bulls are usually bigger in the package department. Um, so that may have you feeling a little self-conscious of something you need to prepare yourself for. Having boundaries with your bull. Make sure that all the boundaries are discussed beforehand and that you, your partner, and your bull are all on the same page. Make sure they have a clear understanding of your rules and desires as a couple. You know, avoid mixing this kink with your personal life, um, especially in the beginning. Um, keep the lifestyle away from those people closest to you. And once you begin, begin to make friends with those people in the lifestyle, you can speak a little more freely and it's great to have friends to play with. Um, this is very true. Um, you kind of have your group of friends that's what's referred to as vanilla friends um, that aren't really into that sort of thing. Um, and then you're going to have your group of friends who are in that lifestyle or something similar in some way. Um, and it's kind of nice to be able to be free and open and speak freely about these things. Um, you know, so that, that will change, um, and it will be nice. It will be nice, you know, and then you'll have friends that you can just kind of hang out with. And if play happens, great, fantastic, wonderful. And if all you do is hang out and have a few drinks and board games, totally fine as well. And you're good either way. Um, but the biggest takeaway um, that I can give you is that you should not feel ashamed, guilty, or repressed because you want to engage in this lifestyle with your partner. The truth is, there are many men out there who would like to try it or have done it, and you never even know. You should never feel guilty for having these emotions or desires even if your partner doesn't understand in the beginning or at all. It took a while for me to understand everything, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, it, but as you grow and evolve, things become more clear and you have a better understanding. Um, and just remember, like I always say, we all have our thing. So, you know, don't ever feel ashamed or guilty um, but hopefully some of these pointers and tips, um, expectation, things to expect in the cuckolding lifestyle 
help you to avoid having um, regret in engaging in it. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, any other words to the wise, um, if you've engaged in this lifestyle and you have some other pointers for someone who may be feeling regret or is worried about having regret afterwards, um, any suggestions to help them avoid it, please leave it in the comments, help each other out. Um, because I can't give you guys the complete list. We could go on forever. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this all helps you. And until next time, everybody. Love hugs. And smoky kisses. Bye, everyone.